Welcome back to Let's Play Prison Architect. I'm Hunter Black Luna. And we've got ourselves one hell of a prison. 80 regular cells. A protective custody ward that is not in use because the snitch died before we could actually do the thing. And we are just completing the Supermax area, which is its own self contained sort of. The yard should be outside. Let's try this. Yeah, I think that's going to fuck everything up. as is my usual style I'd rather you guys dismantle this stuff well, I managed to get him not to destroy some of it but yeah this is the yard it's not much and I'll also have my first experience actually trying to have a segregated... Because I've never actually done it before in a, like, a live fire setting. So we'll just have to see how it goes. Should be lots of fun. All the cells are functional, I think. Well, the utilities getting, didn't get removed, which is nice. Mm. Something over here was complaining about. No, but things are here. That's weird. Anyhow, the next order of business is finding a new place for the yard and definitely uh, expanding this. And the yard will be honestly the yard could be like right up here. That wouldn't be the end of the world, because I'm trying to think... Alternately, it's down here. Like, the yard is, like, down here. Hmm. Hmm. I think cell block C would be the natural next place... ...to go. Considering... ...another one of these cell blocks. We can get it. Well, let's definitely dismantle the yard stuff, which will cause some... I'm certain there'll be consequences. And we can lay the foundation to expand. There we go. And we're expanding the showers up here yet again, as you do. A lot of stuff for the workmen to do. Hmm. Might want to build some classrooms here. I kind of blocked out where the walkways will go. Alright, now let's see if I... Room quality. Hmm. That's an interesting display.
I always post more people to the laundry. But, um, let's see. Deployment. Supermax. These areas are only for Supermax prisoners. Everything in here is Supermax only. Nobody else may come in under any circumstances whatsoever. What makes me wonder, however, is... Uh, will, when I designate these as cells, will... Will, like, our actual Supermax prisoners be moved? And take up cells there? Probably. I mean, we can trust this game. See there, you can see the... the stuff. Now how to get people moved there? Because hmm. this is new ground. This is totally new ground for me. There's the shower area. I'm contemplative at the moment. Also, I can't remove the designation for, uh. I can't remove the scheduling for, uh. Oh, hey, the Supermax prisoners are moving in there. Cool. Hope you guys enjoy. You know, hope it's. Hope it works out for y'all. I can even, like, let them clean their own place. That should be interesting. Okay, uh, infirm. Oh, minimum size requirements. Hmm. That's easy enough to fix. Interesting that laundry is still delivered to the Supermax prisoners. I don't think that's necessarily such a bad thing right at the moment. Laundry baskets. Alright, I think we've designated out all the things. So, patrol routes. One thing to note is that I don't care how, many, how much the Supermax prisoners are suppressed because they're not going to be attending classes and stuff. So we want an armed guard at all times to be patrolling the cell block. Another one to kind of do the common room, canteen, laundry thing. We want regular guards here. We want a regular guard deployed here. And to the chapel. Just so there's dudes around. Yeah, that must be a new patch. For some reason, the janitor murder offends me even more than, like, murdering a prisoner or a guard, because it's like, you know, there's one thing where it's like, you know, the thug of life bullshit, but. He was a janitor. He fucking cleaned your toilets and you murdered him. He wasn't even involved in you being imprisoned. Three days without an incident. That's nice. 
doing okay overall. I disassembled the fridges up here so they'd stop getting like deliver deliveries of ingredients. See, the staff can move freely to or fro, which is nice. And uh, iron patrols. Yeah, they're gonna head out to the supermax area, which is nice. And we'll get more prisoners that are supermax worthy. In fact, now that we have it, what I'd like to know is... In fact, we can activate uh, our confidential informant right now. Activate our confidential informant. Which I guess just means you click him a bunch of times. And he tells you stuff, right? Stuff's important to know. Now why hasn't he been, like, moved? Or reassigned? I think he's going now. Fourteen days without incident. I almost feel bad about sending you there. I mean, you're a legendary prisoner. Like, if he does cause shit, he will- people will die. And yet he's never caused any problems, so you know... Treat him okay, guys. Literacy. That's the one thing. And I wish I could do more. Can the construction workers get out to here? Yeah, they're just busy with stuff. Like this stuff. You guys are gonna love the new expansion to the dining area. Dismantle that shit and uh, let's continue to pack it in because I'm dumb like that. At least give these guys some room. Oh. I wish misclicks weren't so costly sometimes in this game. It's kind of understandable why. Also, I might remove this middle table just so there's a place people can like walk around in. Rooms, canteen. Expand this designation a bit so people can wander. Ah, see, this is not looking bad. Yeah, we kind of fucked up the. What are you bitching about? Literacy. Are you really that. Are you really that butt mad about literacy? I mean, we'll get classrooms, don't worry. I'm just kind of. Yeah, this is an ideal. What we want... Concrete walls to, like... Here, dismantle. Still more drains. They're nice and cheap. So many jobs, so little workmen. Otherwise, I'd be working on more cell blocks and whatnot. These guys haven't been triggering the metal detector all that much. One day without incident. Oh, good. Yeah, informants work differently. how I thought, but that's okay. You kind of just use them to learn stuff. I 
I think. So, like, from our informants. Strong, extremely tough, fearless. This guy might be a candidate. Uh, good ones are uh, volatiles. Thing is, they have to be volatile and, like... Now, what the fuck? What is... Do I have to go into the prison thing and, like... Kitchen should be staff only, of course. See, now their new cells are here. But they're still allowed to roam among the general populace. What if... Um... Where's the other one? Where's the real piece of shit? Why is he sitting there rather than in the canteen? Actually, I know this one. It has to do with the distribution of stuff. Which is something I really, really didn't want to touch. Even a little bit. Because if you touch this to try and change the distribution, it just fucking... It's bad, okay? It's bad. Yeah, you are ser seriously bitching about letter C. I'm sorry, dude. We are kind of handling other matters at the moment. We'll do our best. I promise. See, now our guys are here, like, what if... I were to designate this airlock as staff only. Only staff can enter there. Would they then be unable to leave? That'd be nice. Let's try that and see how it goes. Anyhow, I kind of got distracted last time, so, uh... Extremely strong, tough, tough, tough. Yeah, I don't- I'm not seeing other candidates for... See, some of these guys just aren't sleeping. Environment. He's bitching about his environment. Well, I mean, not to put too fine a point on it, sir, but intoxicated. He's a drunk. One active addiction. Yeah. Let's order a search on him, just because he's awake. And let's go into Turbo Boost. Let's blast off with Sonic Speed. Needs alcohol. One day without incident, 15 days in my prison. Well, he went to alcoholics group therapy. And we let this guy... And we let this guy work in the workshop. <laughs> He's just like, fuck y'all. Fuck all y'all. I'm just going. Yeah. Found your booze. 
It's so off to the lockup for an hour. Well, you weren't sleeping anyhow, so it'll it should be okay, right? Yeah, it's fine. Hmm. And the yard area. I guess I'll make this the yard area, and there'll be like a door, a staff door. This will be okay. Maybe, maybe the yard should be up here. Actually, it's yeah. I mean, you know, having the yard so close to the protective custody will be weird, but it shouldn't cause any issues at all. Especially since we don't have a uh, protective custody need at the uh, moment. Let's put it like that, shall we? Let's fence in... This area. Make it a decent yard for the moment, and we can always expand it. And there's all that space up there that's untapped and uh doors obviously just a regular door out there yeah this could work and do the standard yard stuff Oh, right. It's a good thing to notice. And easily fixed. There we go. Now, I don't get it. Oh, there's no entrance over here. Alright, I guess. Oh, come on. Come on, guys. Go back and do it again. I wonder if I can set... Prison labor here. I wonder if he'll do his own laundry. So I suppose we should put these in normal operating mode. Like with other prisoners, with other prison areas, you know, we can just leave the cell blocks locked open for the moment, but this, this calls for something special. Now the thing is, I want to use this to expand the chapel and visitation, so I might split it down the middle like this, kind of. get rid of these blinking lights finally that have doubtless been bothering my viewers forever what, uh, oh the workers yeah I kinda set up their stuff stupidly and there's this weirdness please just install the door don't keep running around you know being worthless that sounds like Well, one of the cooks did, you know, come pay a visit and even, like, set out and prepare stuff, so that's nice. I think this is working the way we want now. Let's 
make sure half the prison doesn't have a random ass blackout. Ah, I love seeing things in motion, like systems in motion. I find a certain elegance to it. They're gonna be super cranky. They're gonna shower. I'm gonna kinda follow our super max prisoners through, you know, a day in the life. Just to make sure they're getting all their things met. Guess we could dismantle that. Um. Whoop. And wake up, rise and shine. Really? Really? Assholes? Ah, if that's the way you want to... See, why? Why? Why did you feel the need to do this? Escape attempt. You fucking morons. That's it. Tase him. There we go. The riot batons don't put them down. Then the tasers surely will. Anyhow, how's Supermax life going? Oh, they're fine. These guys are actually. Seriously? Fuck. Escape attempt. Now. What makes me wonder is. Is there something. About this prison design that makes them want to do escape attempts? Like, is there something about the way reception has been set up? You know, I wanted not to do it, but we have guards available, so... I'm gonna do normal... You know what? Fuck you guys if you rebel. Just burn in hell. Why do my doctors just... Alright, they're grabbing them. And our fine fellows here... We'll get some food. Come on, staff. There we go. He gets food, he eats... Alright, so this system... is more or less functioning. Prisoners have serious complaints. Yeah, well... Everything sucks. I gave you guys more tables, look! You can now spread out. You now aren't so freaking pinned in. Is this one of those guys who just... Yeah, that's one of those guys who... He should be starting trouble, but he just hasn't lately. Oh my god, look at that mosaic of... Terror. Anyhow, he can, you know, watch TV. They can call the phone booth. I'm not unhappy about this whole setup. And I bet... Come on, janitors. You got your work cut out for you today. Ooh, boy. Alright, finally our workmen are free to do other things. Sorry to suppress you guys, but... You really gotta cut this shit out. Like... Not cool. You're gonna spend most of your day in solitary now, because you're a little bitch. That's how it goes. Oh, uh... I should designate this as a yard so that they kind of know to take advantage of the many... Really? That's really how we're playing this. As soon as you get free time, 
My arm guard should still be close enough in the area to render help. It's three on one, buddy. You're really not gonna win this. Fucking strong, extremely tough, fearless. But, like, why? <sighs> More people aren't dying, though, which I think is the important bit. Why? Is it because I don't suppress you guys enough? I kind of need you guys to do, like... Oh, I get it. Someone fucked up the cell block door and now I can't get it. Yeah, there's karma for you. Oh, fuck you. Up. 31 prisoners have serious complaints. Alright, what's your serious fucking complaints? Clothing exercise. Clothing complaints! That's interesting. I guess we really do need more people posted to do laundry. We might even need another laundry machine. It is possible. And it's also nice that guards will automatically kind of idle in the yard. That seems to be a big place that guards love to hang out. Just as a generic rule. Needs exercise? Well, by all means. That's interesting, he's not even using the weight bench or anything. Alright, Christopher Page went over there and he kinda... I wonder if we could have a separate spiritual service for the Supermax prisoners. Or would that be taking it too easy on him? Because again, this guy has done nothing since he got in the prison at least, which is uh... It is appreciated, don't get me wrong. I should toss these cell blocks tomorrow, or as soon as I can. Also, I really should have a guard... ...deployed here, and yeah, I'm gonna do it. Let's crack down on this contraband. How long have I been going? The, the only me- the only need that I am actually not meeting in any capacity. From what I can tell, the only need that we are not meeting at all is like literacy. And we can... <sighs> Someone suggested I do the perimeter fence thing. It's a good idea. And now it's free time, so just kinda do whatever, guys. Like, Without those stab vests, our guards would be so fucking dead. It's not even... Yeah, lots of people are milling about and they got nothing to do. So, uh... Let's get another... Laundry machine up there. Two more ironing boards and four more laundry baskets. And apparently we need more solitary. Didn't we have a little... I remember we had an area... Look at this fucker. Search his cell and search him. Yeah. Yard seems to be a big hit. I didn't actually see many prisoners actually taking advantage of the yard in the past. I don't know, it didn't seem that way. And yet now, like... 
Yard time's a big hit. We actually have these things are in demand. And I guess I could put phone booths in the But where? Where that wouldn't kind of fuck up the design. Yeah. Shower's working properly. That's nice. You guys are gonna spend most of your day in there. Sharks. That's what you get for defying me. It really is. I really need to actually post, like, guard patrols out here. Uh, yeah, make sure you go out to the yard and, you know, on your rounds. Just check up on them, make sure they're okay. Don't know how long I've been going, which is probably a sign that I should stop. Day 13, it's been two weeks since the prison started. Like a week since we began. Oh, he's actually working in the laundromat. I don't know, man. If, there, if you have a spirituality need, I mean... You have a chapel you can go to. this instead. Yeah, it seems they're doing okay. Just as I say that. Oh my god, go fuck yourself. Why? Why, why, why do you do... How could you do this to me? Yeah, they changed how informants work or something. weird. Given how huge the prison is, I'm gonna spring for that fifth janitor. Things are getting messy. In every sense of the word. Ooh, dog handlers. I think we'll do dog handlers next time. I think that's also fitting. Next time on Let's Play Prison Architect. Well, the Supermax worked. Yay! It's the regular fucking prisoners that are giving me so much more trouble. Bastards. So next time, classrooms, dog patrols, more prisoner capacity, you know, stuff. Off to your shower you go.